Good morning, everybody. Happy Monday to you. Yes, it's a rather casual Monday, as you can tell. Um, far cry from the uh, nice shirt and tie last time. But hey, either way, we're together again for another edition of 5 Minutes with Phil. And I am glad that you've joined me here today. Uh, this morning, I want to kick off our new week by taking a look at a uh, at a scripture found in the book of Isaiah, in the book of Isaiah, and specifically, we're going to be in Isaiah 53, verse 3. And uh, this verse is actually, kind of give you a little background, okay? This verse is actually a, uh, a look ahead. It, it's kind of a prophecy uh, verse that's looking forward to Jesus and and. Uh, many years before baby Jesus was born, uh, we have this verse in Isaiah that describes him. And uh, this verse in particular, it, it really, really, um, it really lends itself to his understanding of, uh, of what we go through. Let me show you what I mean. Uh, take a look at the screen. Verse 3 of Isaiah 53 says, he was despised and rejected by mankind, a man of suffering and familiar with pain. Like one from whom people hide their faces, he was despised, and we held him in low esteem. So, this again, this verse is looking forward and, and predicting. Uh, and, and really just foretelling what Jesus was going to be like and what he was going to experience. And I read this verse and I realize that Jesus experienced a lot of things that we experience, maybe on a regular basis, maybe once in a while, but, but Jesus can certainly identify with some things that we feel that are kind of hard to deal with. For example, he says that, uh, or the scripture says that he was despised and he was rejected by people. Um, if there's, wow, maybe you're in a situation where that has happened to you, where people have rejected you, people uh, uh, maybe have just turned on you. Um, I guess the beautiful thing for me is the fact that, okay, when I go to Jesus and I say, this is happening to me, he gets it. He understands it. And, uh, and he, can, I, he can identify with me when I'm at those low points. Scripture also says that he suffered. Uh, that he suffered. Now, we know from Jesus' experience on the cross that he very much suffered. But I, I will tell you that I think a lot of Jesus' suffering... Uh, happened before he even got to the cross. Um, I believe that Jesus felt the feelings that we feel and, uh, and went through the same emotions that we tend to go through in our lives as well. And some of that is, is suffering, however that might be. In fact, it, the, the, the scripture says that he experienced grief as well. Um, so Jesus, <laughs> Jesus felt what it was like to even lose somebody. Now, why do I say all this? Am I trying to depress you today? No, not at all. I'm trying to encourage you to know that he was familiar with all this. He went through all this. He understands this. Why? Because Jesus not only died for us, he also lived for us. Jesus not only died to pay the price for our sins, but Jesus also went through all of this so that he could identify with us as well. and We can identify with him. When I tell him that I feel like I've been rejected by somebody, when I tell him that I'm suffering, when I tell him that I'm hurting, Jesus absolutely gets it. And that's our word for you today is the fact that if you go to him with these feelings, the Lord gets it. The Lord understands it, and uh, you are talking to somebody who could truly identify with you, and he cares about you, and he loved you that much to go through it first before you did. And so be encouraged today. 
that you could go to him with your grief and with your suffering and with your rejection from other people because the Lord gets it and he knows how to address it with you. Okay, that's all the time I've got. I hope you're encouraged by that today. God bless you. We'll talk to you again soon. Bye-bye.